Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, aka Crystal with the C, back at you with another video. But if you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week, do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So make sure you check out my prior videos. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today, you guys, I'm just about to head out. Um, and I wanted to show you my date night outfit of the night before I'm actually going to be doing a review. I don't know when y'all going to get this review, but I'm going to be doing a review of Captain Marvel. So I'm going to be going to go see that tonight. So just wanted to quickly do my outfit of the night, about to head to the mall and yeah, see the movie. So anyway, um, my hair, I had, I just did a twist out you guys and I use the melanin hair care, which I am absolutely loving as well as the melanin multi-purpose oil, which again, like if nothing else, I'll probably buy the oil again, but I'll probably buy both. But yeah, I think the twisting, um, I don't want to say gel, but twisting cream that will probably last for a while. It's like 16 ounces. It's really large. So it'll probably last me for a while, but I don't know. I'm using that oil up. So I definitely will probably repurchase the oil whenever that goes out. But yeah, that's what I have on or that's what my hair is looking like. So very nice, pretty and full. I just twisted it again last night. Makeup. I have um, my Fenty Beauty which is what I always have because I don't wear any other makeup. I have my Fenty Beauty primer and foundation. Also on the eyes, I have my glasses on so you can't really see, but on the eyes I have my burgundy palette from Kylie Cosmetics. So per usual, it's still going strong even though I've hit pan on most of the colors in that palette. Um, on the lips, I have the Christian Louboutin um, Roca Coat 215. I think it's 215. But yeah, it's the Roca Coat, the Christian Louboutin. Just like to kind of round it out as a, like a soft pink look. I do have my Dior Lip Glow um, Color Reviver Balm underneath. And I have the 004, I think, uh, the Coral. So I have that underneath. And then I put this um, Roca Coat on top. So I have these earrings here. I think they are from TonyDaily.com, but I could be mistaken. But um, they say Jesus. So... Again, just kind of a casual type of date night. So I have um, this shirt here, which I think I got from, oh, I got it from um, a store, a local like boutique here. So that's the shirt that I have here on. Belt, I think I probably got from New York and Company. Um, this necklace I got from a friend. I think that was for my 33rd birthday. I got this. Y'all recognize um, this shawl over. Um, it's usually like my daily shawl. <laughs> yeah, but I got this from American Eagle like three, four years ago now. So I'm just wearing this over it because we know that the movie theaters are cold. And then these pants are, you know, have the little bit of distressing in them. They are also from New York and Company. And these shoes, I think they're also from like a local boutique here. So... Yep, that's what I'm wearing. Um, for my handbag, I actually am doing my Chanel Jumbo Caviar Leather Silver Hardware. I don't know. I was kind of torn between this and my um, No Way because I'm carrying my No Way for the month. But I don't know. I just always like to take my Jumbo when I go out. Yes. So, but I'm going to show y'all real quick my No Way. And um, yeah, as far as jewelry, let's go and talk about that. I have my bracelet from Lindy's. So I have that on and then I just have my regular one ring. I did get my nails done. My nail lady or woman, young woman, my friend has come off maternity leave and it was a joyful day. So I don't remember what this color is called, but it is the dip. I think it's like called Peachaboo, if I'm not mistaken, is what this color is called. So I didn't get my toes done. I just got like my nails done. So yeah, I got the peachaboo and then I'm just wearing this other ring and then on here I have my two Pandora bracelets. So let me show y'all real quick my no way and I'll probably go ahead and head out after that you guys. Okay, I'm back. So I wanted to show y'all real quick what my no way is looking like. But um, yeah, so this is it right here. I did kind of, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the angle right, but I did put my... um. Louis Vuitton leopard, um, Stephen Sprouse leopard bandeau. Um, I weaved it in between where the um, cord would typically be. So I do have that in there. Um, and I also have this little um, 
yeah, this little strap that I got from eBay, as well as my lottery bag charm. So I've been really loving this bag, carrying it thus far. So, um, but just to go to the movies, the bag is a bit overwhelming because it does have to like sit in my lap, especially if it's like a lot of people. So that's kind of why I don't really want to wear it to the movies, but I am going to go back into the bag tonight after I get back because it is Captain Marvel. So I expect probably will be a good amount of people here. So anyway, let me show you my completed look again and I'm going to head out. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Just, again, want to do that quick outfit of the day. So, I hope you guys enjoy my casual date night outfit of the night. And give you one last look. Again, here are my shoes. It's a little chilly out tonight, too. So, that's why I think the cardigan is good. But I don't mind having my toes out. So, that's not bad. And, again, have my Chanel Jumbo with me. So, hope you guys really like this look. But yeah, I'll be back to you like maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few days to do my review of Captain Marvel. And I'll go ahead and upload that on the channel. And you guys, I do have my reactions that are still, I'm still working on. I am going to put those up for The Gifted Season 2. Sorry if y'all a little bit lower. But um, yep, so just be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys um, in the next clip with my review of Captain Marvel. Bye. So I'm back at two. So this is the day after seeing Captain Marvel um, that came out um, on March 8th, March 7th in some places. But yeah, I did go and see the movie last night. Um, it was like the theater that I went to. It was kind of like selling out. So I plan to go see the 630. However, that theater pretty much sold out. So I ended up having to see the 7 p.m. IMAX, which are extortionate prices. But you do get to pick your seats in the theater that I go to now. So, you know, still was able to kind of pick some really good seats and all. So, um, really was happy about that. As far as previews, um, because y'all, the best part of the movies are the previews. Because even if you don't like the movie, at least it gives you hope for something better to come. So, that's always my philosophy. That's why I always like to go to the movies and see the previews before seeing the actual movie. Because, again... I'm hopeful for other things that are to come. So um, I'm trying to think of the previews that I did see. I did see the preview. I think it's like um, the second trailer for Dark Phoenix that comes out in June. So that one looked really, really good. It had a lot of suspense behind it. Like the first trailer was good, but this one was seemed like very more developed and it gave you more scenes of Jean. So this is just my prequel into the actual reaction. But yeah, so I did really like um, that particular preview. And then there's another preview for um, like a spinoff from Fast and Furious with Dwayne Johnson and... Um, I don't remember, Jason Latham. Yeah, that's the guy's name who's in the Meg. So um, there's like a spinoff movie with them as well. So just something to look forward to. Keep in mind, if you've not seen those trailers, make sure you go and watch those. But um, anyway, back to Captain Marvel. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a spoiler review. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually reveal in this review, but I am just gonna go ahead and say for the sake of it, it's gonna be a spoiler review. So you had Captain Marvel that essentially started off with um, fragments of um, Veers. That's what her character is known as at the beginning. So she goes by the name of Veers. She is... Um, like on this planet, I don't remember, I think it's called Hala. Yeah, the planet was called Hala, where the Kree were. And so you have um, Jude Law who plays, I don't remember what his character's name was, but you had Jude Law who was essentially her mentor. And so, and then you have like Veer, she's having these flashes of memories and she can't figure out why. And so she goes on this mission and she ends up getting captured by the scroll. Now, I don't know much about the scroll. My first time hearing about it was when the Captain Marvel movie, um, they were talking about it and seeing previews for it. So someone did mention in the preview, like um, something called the scroll. So you have the scrolls who essentially are, um, extraterrestrial beings or, or whatever that can shape shift into people. Um, so you had um, the scrolls who again set up this whole um, trap for Veers and they were trying to get information from her about 
um, a Dr. Lawson and her project that she was working on while she was at Earth. So what I really did like about the movie is I like the twists and turns of it. I would definitely say in the first half of the movie, like I really like the fact that, um, you know, it wasn't, I, I kind of, um, you kind of felt like it was going to go one way and it went a completely different direction as far as the twist was concerned. And so I did really like that because I thought Jude Law's character was going to be a bit different as well as all the Kree that were in the uh, movie. I thought their characters were going to be represented differently than what was revealed at the end as well as the scroll. So, you know, it just kind of goes to show you that you can't necessarily like, you know, take a, a preview or a trailer to heart. So they definitely did hide that reveal pretty well in the in the film. So I really did like the reveal. Um, as far as Nick Fury, we do know that he's in this movie and in the movie he's got both of his eyes and that was really cool. I did enjoy that as far as Nick Fury and his interaction with, um, you know, after she finds out that her name is Carol Danvers. So, um, you know, I did like um, his interaction with um, Captain Marvel in the movie. And so, and then you did, I did, you know, you got a few glimpses of Phil Coulson, which was really cool. I wish we could have had more Phil Coulson in the movie, but I understand it was just kind of like a few clips here and there, because even like, if you notice in the film, um, Nick Fury, he was at level three when he showed his shield badge. And I think if I'm not mistaken, like Fury is actually like level eight or level 10, as far as shield is concerned, he's the highest that there is. So yeah, like this was definitely some years ago. So he was essentially him and Coulson were like field agents together. So that was really interesting to see you. Yeah. You find out how he ended up losing his eye, which was kind of a funny reveal. And then, um, yeah, like those were definitely the highlights of the movie for me. Um, what I didn't like about the movie, I didn't really like the last half, to be honest. It seemed like, um, I don't know, it just kind of became kind of cliche-ish to me. Um, because the only, this is like the first movie in Marvel that I've seen anyway that is essentially um, has a predominant female character. Now we know in DC they had Wonder Woman. And I would say that actually comparing Wonder Woman to Captain Marvel, like I really liked enjoy, I liked and enjoyed uh, um, Wonder Woman better. I felt like Wonder Woman had better themes in the movie, even though I didn't like the villain. I felt like Wonder Woman overall was a more developed character. Her themes were very pronounced and powerful. Like you really felt a lot more to me and you felt a lot more attached to me and a lot more on board with Wonder Woman than necessarily Captain Marvel. What I did like about Captain Marvel is I loved her sarcasm. I loved her little witty snide remarks. You know, she definitely had personality. So I definitely loved that about her. Um, and you did get clips and, and I just kind of liked the way, um, I did like the way they kind of put everything together with her. Um, and with her personality and kind of showing her past, I did enjoy that. But it's just some of the CG and everything in the last half of the movie became just kind of like, eh, okay, I've seen it before. Like, it didn't really have any real impact. I would compare the last portion of the movie in Captain Marvel to kind of like the fight that Wonder Woman had with... Um, that guy, the villain in, in that movie. Like, I don't remember what the villain's name was, but I felt like that fight too was just a lot of CG and it didn't really have any real impact or any real, like, I don't know. You didn't really have any real attachment to it or feeling behind it. Like, so I was just like, oh, okay. Like it'll be cool when this ends. So, um, yeah, for that, I didn't really like the action sequences at the end of the movie. I'll say that. So they were just a bit much. And so, um, the other aspect of it too is, um, definitely you kind of see with Captain Marvel, like how, like they had little tidbits throughout the movie where you can kind of see where she would be important and pivotal to Avengers Endgame when that movie does come out. So that's like kind of the main reason for me seeing the movie, even though I was intrigued by Captain Marvel, I really wanted to see the connection between Captain Marvel and what they're going to do, get some kind of inkling of what they're going to do with Avengers Endgame. And you definitely got like portions of that. And probably I might have to watch the movie again to really kind of catch capture those little pieces, but it will probably be more, um, put out there and it will, it will be more revealed when Avengers Endgame comes out and you'll be able to kind of catch those points that you might've missed in Captain Marvel. But do I recommend the movie overall? I definitely do. I love the preview or the clip at the end. 
um, of the movie after the credits. So make sure you do sit and watch that. But um, yeah, I did like that clip at the end. Overall, I didn't enjoy the movie. It's just I enjoyed the reveal and I enjoyed probably the first half more than I enjoyed the last half. I will say that. So, and it was semi that way with Wonder Woman, but I feel like there were only like minute portions of Wonder Woman I didn't like. And mainly it was like just a portion with that fight between Wonder Woman and the villain at the end. But otherwise I love the movie overall, but I can't necessarily say the same thing for Captain Marvel. Now, one thing that was very unique and different about this Marvel opening of the movie that's different from all the other ones, because we know that Stan Lee died. And so like that was really cool. That sequence at the beginning was really, really cool. Like it was a, basically an homage to Stan Lee. Um, and I just thought that was like really well done. So I wonder if they're going to do all the mo Marvel movies like that from now on. But that one was definitely really good. And I think this one may be the last Marvel film that Stan Lee was in before he died. So I did enjoy that clip as well. So um anyway that's pretty much it as far as the movie's concerned hopefully my review made sense i highly recommend it especially if you're gonna go see avengers endgame it's one of those movies that definitely i feel like will put the pieces together when we do see avengers endgame so i definitely highly recommend it but like if i could just compare it to the dc realm and i feel like wonder woman beats out captain marvel which most dc movies don't beat out marvel but i feel like wonder woman as an all you know as a um primary female care lead primary fear uh, um, I'm sorry a primary female lead um, I feel like Wonder Woman beats out Captain Marvel so that's all I'm saying but it was still a really good movie strong female leads and definitely enjoyed Nick Fury as well as you know the little bit we got of Coulson so anyway guys that's pretty much it for my review let me know um if you've seen the movie what you think of Captain Marvel make sure you comment below did you like like Captain Marvel overall as a movie more or less than Wonder Woman did you like Wonder Woman more and you know Captain Marvel less like me or did you enjoy Captain Marvel more and Wonder Woman less so I know it's DC and Marvel but still that's the only comparison I can really have since um, these are like the only two movies that have a female lead. So um, yeah, comment below, let me know what you think. Also, if you enjoyed this review and the outfit of the day that's at the beginning of this, make sure you do give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you do share it with anyone else who's looking at reviews on Captain Marvel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You do that again by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. And again, you guys, I thank you so very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.